Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a very quick video to talk to you about headlight loom relay upgrades, what they are, what they do, why you might want one. If you own a, a Transport, a T4, or in fact any vehicle that's got these glass style headlights, you might find that after a while, uh, especially if the vehicle's uh, a little bit older, that driving around in the dark is a bit like driving with a candle in a jam jar. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this could happen, uh, why the headlight output is not as expected. But one of the things with the T4 in particular is the over time the wiring that is used to power the headlights uh, deteriorates it, it generates a, a high resistance so what you'll find is that the the 12 volt from the battery not all 12 volts is getting to the headlight so what that will find is that the headlight just isn't as bright it can't get the the energy that it requires to to run at full brightness so the way we can get around this is we can use something called a, a headlight loom upgrade or a relay. Um, what that loom does is it has a it has a relay switch in it which is connected directly to the battery. Uh, it's also um, connected to the existing headlight um, assembly and the the feed from the the original headlight loom is used as a switch to turn the relay on and off and then in doing so it allows um, current to flow directly from the engine battery there's a lot less resistance in those cables uh, it means that you can get the full uh, 12 volts or the full amount from the vehicle battery to power your headlights what you'll find as a result is that the headlights run a lot brighter because they're getting that that full amount of energy and quite often the return circuit as well on the other side of the bulb is, is directly to the chassis so it shortens the loop um, you'll find that the the headlights can work more efficiently okay so what I've done here um, I've taken out the engine cover taken out the air box just so that we can get access to the battery I'm going to show you quite how bad this problem is with this voltage drop um, so what we're going to do first of all uh, is measure the voltage on the battery. So you can see here the voltage on the battery uh, is coming up 12.03, so just about 12 volts is what you'd expect it to be. Just be aware that the um, the engine is off but the headlights are on, so um, it might be a little bit lower or higher. Um, I don't want to run the engine because it's just going to be too noisy. But as you can see, battery here, 12 volts. Now if I go down here, and um, touch up against the, the bottom of the, the H4 connector on the bulb. You can see here the reading 10.27 volts. Now, you'd think that because the headlights are running, they should get the full 12 volts, but they don't. And this comes down to what I was saying about the voltage drop along the cables. So we can actually measure that voltage drop. If I go over to, to this, we see we've lost 1.75 volts between the, the battery and the headlight. So what we can do is we can use uh, the, the relay loom to hopefully um, negate some of that. So I'll just go and hook up the relay. We'll take some more measurements and, and we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, so now we've got the, the relay, uh, the headlight relay loom wired in. Let's do some checks again so first of all let's just check that the the battery is still roughly where it was so yeah we're round about 12 volts now so if I now go back down and check the top of the headlight connector you see now it still dropped a little bit we're on 11.35 volts but that is a much smaller drop than using the original wiring in the van so if I just go back over to here, we can see previously it was a 1.75 volt drop. We've now got a 0.64 drop. So 
what that's going to mean is you've got more voltage going to those headlights. They're going to run a bit brighter. Now, when the engine is running and you've got the alternator running, you might find that that voltage drop is even less because there's more current flowing around the system. But as you can see, um, using a, a headlight loom relay is a good way to get extra power to your headlights. Okay, so let's have a little look and see exactly what I mean when I'm saying um, headlight relay. Uh, so this is the piece of kit here. Two relays, one for the dip beam, one for the main beam. And then this connects back up. We've got a fuse here, fused directly to the vehicle battery. And then down here, we have the original headlight connector, which connects to the headlight booster and then you've got one plug here that's off the back of the relay plugs back into the headlight and the same on the other side so you just run the cable across the front of the beam and then back down onto the other side there you've also got this um, little extra earth cable there that's just to keep that distance nice and short so when the the voltage has gone through the bulb it goes straight back to the body on a nice short cable now you can buy these looms um, from lots of different places. You can get them on eBay. I don't think the quality of all of them is amazing. You can get some really good quality kits around 30, 40 pounds. This one came from Amazon. I think it was only about 10, 12 pounds. I'll dig out the link. I'll pop it into the description. Okay, that's it for this video. Just a short one today. If you have any questions at all, do pop them in the comments, send us a message on Instagram or on Twitter. If the video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if there's anything else you want to see a video on, just let me know and we'll do what we can. Thank you for watching.